And we have a real treat for you on this Wednesday night, a true Canadian original, Jan Arden. You can say what you want, but I'm not your little girl. You can stand in my path, but you're never going to change. Her new album will be released on Friday, but Jan Arden has been finding her voice since her debut back in 1993. Will you remember? Through her amazing catalog of songs and her best-selling book, Feeding My Mother, she's been sharing her life as a singer, songwriter, including this latest chapter as the caregiver to her mother, who has Alzheimer's. Yes, it is a heavy, heavy album. Jan Arden joins me now. It's a beautiful album. Thank You're you. You're getting emotional looking at that. So am I. This It feels like a tribute to your mother. Oh, my gosh. She made it in there for sure. I, I think um, I was writing the book and the record kind of at the same time, so they really fed into each other. Whenever you're writing music, you're writing about what's happening to you at the moment. Every album I've done has captured a little bit of my life. So it's nice for me. They're great memories for me because I know what I was doing. I know where I was. Did it ever feel that you were somehow revealing family secrets? A in little the... bit. And did your mother ever mind? <laughs> you know, she was too far gone by the time she realized I was writing about it. You know, the one time Good Mother, and we were talking mm -hmm. about that earlier, I remember playing that to my folks, Lisa, and my mom listened to it, and she was sitting there, and she goes, well, I think it's got a really good beat. <laughs> So, you know, that... She should have loved that song. That oh, was she, such a beautiful they, message they to They were her. really proud of me, but they never, you know, pontificated about anything. I, we would love you if you were a plumber. <laughs> but, you know, now, like, this, an this album is like an anthem to anyone who's been touched by Alzheimer's. And mm -hmm. uh, did it even surprise you how much your personal experience has, has resonated across this country and really around the world? I... I'm so shocked by the response to people. It's what I talk about the most. When people come and say hi to me on the street or in Costco or whatever, it's, they, they talk to me about a, a parent or a, a, a sibling or a husband or wife that has Alzheimer's or dementia. And they're just like, I'm going through that too and thank you so much. I, you know, I've always been so ashamed about it. And ashamed it, is interesting. Shame comes up a lot with people that suffer from, from dementia and Alzheimer's. But I'm, uh, I, I, I hope there's a light you know, that's been kind of cast on this whole thing so that we know how to go forward. It's going to be a catastrophe. All us boomers that are coming up they're not going to have any place to put us <laughs> you know you, you use that word shame and you've used the word guilt also in in the book and mm -hmm. I think I heard it a couple of times in in yep. in the album what is your best advice to anyone else who recognizes a parent who is going through memory loss or the suffering with Alzheimer's the biggest epiphany I had on this entire journey and it took me years I call that my book of mistakes is uh, I used to argue with my mom. I used to be the, the memory police a lot. And I remember her one day telling me, she was pointing at my house. I live 100 yards from my folks. They built a house very close to me. And she said, well, there's those people again. There's the people with the orange hats and they're, you know. And I, the old part of me wanted to go, there's nobody out there. And I went, well, you'd think they could pick up a broom and do that deck. Well, yeah. And we moved on. And I thought, if someone would have told me it was that easy, Go where they go. Don't have them live in your world. They don't live there anymore. You've got to go where they go, and you've got to be in the moment. Wow. That's, that really is such trivial advice, but it's the most important thing you'll do is go where they go. Well, this feels like a very important thing that you've done, writing Thank you, Lisa. this album. These are the days. And these are the days these, indeed. These are the days.